Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Cosmos doesn't mess around. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. Punch That's from not a very big. Like you wouldn't even dent. <laughs> One more strike and this window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. <laughs> what goodwill? I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Don't be so rash. Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved one minute forty-five seconds. Ha! You gotta love Cosmos. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah. Right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. She's got us, Red. Shut up. Where's, uh, where's the escape pod now? God, Cosmos is just incredibly overpowered for this entire universe. Oh. Wow. She just grabbed the, is that the escape pod? Seemed kind of small. And Cherenkov wasn't on the top. I wonder what that was. Huh? Hey, Captain, uh, I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Oh. Uh, hold on. I'll put it on the speakers. Is anybody out there? It's Alan! So that wasn't the, the escape pod that she grabbed, so I wonder what that was. Kind of remind me of the underwater like torpedo thing that they use sometimes. Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? Don't you worry oh, about Cosmos, know. she's fine. Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm sure... I'm now they left. About that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Damn, just single-minded, Shion. Don't worry about your own lives, not just your Forget work. Forget about Cosmos, what about us? Well, if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're <laughs> still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? Yes, we only need to think about mean? Cosmos. Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Do you think that I'm an emotionless android? By Cosmos. I even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Hey! Shion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Yeah, what? Cosmos, just what are you up to? She's ditching Shion? I am commandeering the ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going headquarters. Wait, wait a second. What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second. What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod. You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. 
Oh, good to know. Oh, in that case, suffocation. That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. Uh, but there's no way I'm going to allow this. You cannot act on your own, Cosmos. Bring us yeah. on board immediately. What the hell's there going is no on? time for this. I am signing off. Shion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos! You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy. Be quiet, Alan. <laughs> Shut up, I'll be crazy Listen if I want to. Me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Oh damn. Does does not Cosmos. care. You don't believe I'll do it, do you? I'm serious, you know. <laughs> She's really gonna do it! Why not help her? Who the hell is that? Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos, you're up. With all Why this racket, who could sleep? Why don't they capitalize his name? What kind of name is Chaos anyway? He didn't, like the door didn't open? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like he just appeared. Cosmos has no memory of the door opening. That's strange. What the hell's going on with so, this guy? Is that okay with you? Well, it Cannot looks like compete. she doesn't have any objections. So it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? I think we ought to rescue them. Uh, well, if you say so. Sure, I don't mind. Tony? So, hey, Chaos saved us, somehow. He, oh no, he did all his reasoning off screen. But he did it! And there's Durankov hanging off the side. He's gonna make it too. I guess nobody really cared about him. He just has to hold on for dear life. Is that, is that it? Excuse no. us. Yes, Japanese bow. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries' first R&D division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who Aww. also works in the same division. Co-worker. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Errant cosmos. Come on, Alan. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. boy. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You gotta save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Once again, not oh, capitalized. Yeah, chaos. Thank you, chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah, he often saves our hides too. So we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Do you have like special skills? Hey, cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? Yeah, seriously, what's up with you Cosmos? You left us and then tried to go to Second Milsia by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. 
I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xi'an. This is part of your job, is it not? Yes, you have to maintain me, bitch. <sighs> I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I wonder where she gets it. I do it. apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got just that right. Little ball of happiness, you can always you? use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Oh, right in front of Alan. Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Oh, I'm a boozer. Never mind I her. At least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human. She's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. What? Tess, I don't think you understand what's going on here. Any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? Oh, that's right, Cherenkov. on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day. And getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the core. Huh. Wasn't that the window that was cracked? Oh, crap. Where's Cosmos? That needs to be, like, Hilbert affected. No, 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 sis. I knew it. A couple of them are still lurking around. Just goes right through the glass. It's coming in, son of a bitch! Yeah, that's not doing shit, dude. Cosmos! No, he's got Shrink off! No, I kind of liked him! Chaos! I know. Chaos? Chaos! Does, does he have the Hilbert effect or something? It's okay. Oh, what the hell? What the hell just happened? The Gnosis! <sighs> what did he just do? Well, that's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've yeah, never seriously. heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. Great compliment. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Uh, okay. Shia, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Don't don't you be turning that around no, on me. I, the hell do you do, Chaos? It's just something I can do. No. Yep, that's, that's all there is to it. That's not that's not a good enough explanation. Oh. I see. Right. I think I get it. But yes, it's all you're getting. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. No, it still doesn't. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that What the How can you be convinced by that? Seriously. That was a gnosis, Chief. A gnosis. Well, Captain, 
We better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. You could just do the whole uh, You owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Can't we actually have to go all the way out to Keltia? Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. That There's is true. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all it about is. reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right, well, roger that. There was an elaborate well, enough hologram I'll take Shion system. and the others to their rooms. Then it would be fine. That's very kind of you. But it's not like all YouTube right, covers you do it. that. Damn. Today's been one hell of a day. Yeah, where's the correct window? Like, everything seems to be fine. I don't think they ever address it again. And no, you're not going to get an answer about what Chaos just did, or why his name is never capitalized. And that kind of pisses me off. But I Master do love this voice actor. I yeah. have a report from Cosmos. John Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? right. Yes. That would be the prime directive. Who the hell is By this the guy? way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. Pull her back from There's what? There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. The Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. The Rhine Maiden? All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest, gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. What the hell are you talking about? And once again, would I like to save? Yes, I would! And actually, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xena Saga. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our barely surviving squad of Xion and Cosmos. Virgil didn't make it. Alan and Charon Cuff don't count. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.